Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate from CAPT to KSP. A lot of you had uh, doubts and had uh, some questions about the errors that you faced when you wanted to do this. And uh, I've decided to make this video to do it a step by a step to show you how to uh, migrate from CAPT to KSP. Let's get started first of all let's see what is capped uh, capped stands for the kotlin annotation processing tool and in all of the projects that you will work with uh, dependency injection like dagger or hilt or the projects that you are going to use room database you will see such things add sign and something else all of these annotations uh, are using a third party library named CAPT. And uh, to enable them, we have to add some dependencies in the build.gradle uh, file. This is the application that we built together in the room database crash course. And uh, as you can see here, uh, I used CAPT for the Kotlin annotation. Uh, processing and uh, when I'm holding the mouse on it you can see learn about how to enable KSP and use the KSP processor uh, for the dependency instead of uh, the cap uh, so by clicking on this uh, we can see this page migrate from cap to KSP uh, you can see here what is capped. Uh, it allows you to use Java annotation processor with uh, Kotlin code. That means that this capped library is built for Java. And when we are using it for Kotlin, uh, it should translate our code to Java, then translate it again to Kotlin, and it takes a lot of time. And as you can see, the KSP is a Kotlin first alternative for capped and the uh, ksp analyzer is kotlin based so it makes it two times faster than capped so if you see in the project that you use capped it needs a lot of time to build the project this is the problem and it's better to migrate from cap to ksp uh, you may ask uh, it's easy and i can follow this page and add these dependencies and do it by myself so if you can do it do it yourself <laughs> but if uh, you use it and you see that you have uh, uh, like errors this video is for you uh, let's start here as you can see we have two dependencies two plugins let's say to add but for both of them is uh, written build.gradle.kts but in uh, a project we have two build.gradle.kts one of them the project uh, level the other one the module level so which one uh, and I have to say both of them here I'm going to copy the first line and i'm going to paste it here in the build.gradle.kts uh, project level And uh, it has a warning and says that we have a newer version. So let's upgrade it. And let's go to build.gradle all the way up. And here in the plugins, I'm going to uh, add this line. Uh, after you add these two lines, sync it once. and wait until the build finishes uh, 
Uh, you can see here I have a warning as well that says uh, the KSP version that I'm using uh, is uh, new for the Kotlin version that I'm using. So it's better to upgrade the Kotlin version from 190 to 1921. And later I'm going to show you how you can do it. Okay, the build is done, the sync is done. Let's go back again to the browser and we have another line here and let's copy it and paste it again here down below of the uh, modular level uh, build that together okay and i think it has also a newer version mm, let's go with this for now let's sync it Okay, the build is successful and uh, we are done here. But let's check it. Yeah, this is the new version. 2.6.0. So, uh, sorry, 2.6.1. So we can use uh, 6.1 instead of this and sync it again. Okay, the sync is done and we can use the KSP now. But uh, what about this arrow? Uh, to solve this, we need to add uh, a class path here in this uh, build that created in the project level. Uh, if you have Gemini on your uh, Android Studio, you can copy this link. Uh, sorry, copy this line and paste it here and. It will tell you this answer probably. So you can copy this and paste it here. And it will change the version of your cut name from 190 if you have the same version as I have in this day that I'm uh, recording this video uh, to 1921. And I'm going to sync it again. Okay, the build is done and uh, we can run our application to see that uh, it works or not. Uh, and I think everything looks good. But I have to additionally tell you something more about this. Look at here. Uh, this is about the uh, Compose version that I'm using in this project. Uh, you may see another error here or another warning here that uh, this uh, version here 1921 is not compatible with this version and you can search uh, for uh, the compatibility of uh, versions of the Kotlin and uh, Compose and I'm going to show you this page Okay, here we have it, and uh, this is the list of them. Uh, we use this one, 1921, 1921. So, as you can see, it's compatible with 157 and 156. So, let's go back to the Android Studio. Yeah, you can see it here. Uh, I tried to build a project, and it says that the version 1. One is not compatible with uh, this version 1921. So here I'm going to change it to 157 and sync it again. And here I have my emulator. Let's have it here. Okay, the project is synced successfully. Let's install the app.
okay that's it uh we changed uh, everything from capped to ksp actually we used the uh, ksp from scratch in this video and as you can see again i have a warning here and uh, you can replace it with the new catalog reference uh, just like this and the other one as well you can change it like that and sync again and it works perfectly and it is very very faster than capped uh okay uh that was everything about this topic and in the next video i'm going to uh, start uh, a new playlist and it will be the first uh, video of the new playlist about kotlin flow we are going to build this application together to uh, check how flow works and i'm going to talk about the react reactive uh, programming so if you are new in the channel please hit the subscribe button right now and give me a thumbs up for this video and i will see you in the next video about uh, kotlin flow if you want to financially support me you can find the link down below and buy me a coffee and i will be so happy happy coding bye bye